Hello, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm gonna uh, today. Uh, we're gonna try to. We're gonna listen today. We're gonna listen to some of the things that's in the music um, on the on the albums, and uh, because I, I get a lot of questions like what kind of stuff we <coughs> we use and equipment and all this kind of stuff, and I, I thought might be interesting to show some some of the stuff we recorded and uh, kind of a little bit talk a little bit maybe about the philosophy with everything and <clears throat> how we try to kind of create atmospheres and emotions and all these kind of things with music and with different instruments and and uh, all these all this kind of stuff so uh, today we're going to listen to uh, great beyond from uh, the, the last album the fire fire I long for and um, <clears throat> I haven't listened to it for a while so I was was quite fun for me as well actually to go through some some of the stuff that we've been we, we've been recording so I, I got s stems you know with, with different tracks so let's see uh, we can start we can listen a little bit this is just a rough rough recording so it's not the final mix but it's kind of close to the way it sounded when the amazing Niklas, Niklas Flicht uh, mixed it uh, but it's not it's you you get the picture I think so let's see if we listen to like a chorus or something One uh, thing, there's one musician that's usually, you know, that I always work with, and that's his name is uh, Michael Blair, and he's, he's an amazing percussion percussionist. He, he works with worked with Tom Waits and a lot of great artists, and um, he always brings his bag with a lot of weird tools he kind of he can make music out of anything i would say he can he can take this thing and like make it sound like music uh anyway um, the, um w one thing that i hear I, w I wanted this this song is a little bit like to me, it's it, it is uh, dealing a little bit with, with like life after life that kind of stuff, and um, I wanted something to some kind of glittering, shine, shiny thing to happen in the chorus, and then he brought this um, small symbols. I think it's like a monk monk thing, like monks from Tibet, whatever it. I think it's you say Tibet. <laughs> That's what we say in Swedish, anyway. It's like <coughs> these monks, they use use these things, and if you listen again, you will. I think you will hear it. <laughs> so uh, comes here. Yeah. Here it comes. Nice little thing. We can hear it in the music. Again here. It's a little thing, but it's important for the vibe to me. And he um, also bring this, brought this uh, weird uh, thing called Omnichord um, um, that he played on. There also it's also used on the on the chorus here. Let's see if we can. Yeah. Yeah. So if I raise the volume, you hear it. 
if it's, if it's, if it's solo it. So we just put the mic on this little thing and recorded it. It's more, it's almost like a little toy, but it sounds very nice. That's a very nice little addition, I think. And uh, what more? What more do we have here on the chorus? Um, you have to show the guitars. The guitars, I, yeah. I have there's some acoustics that I like. These are nice, and then we also got these ones. Like psychedelic electric guitars. There's a lot of, uh, it's always recorded like with echoes and reverbs, and there's a lot of stuff going on in the room um, <clears throat> to make this vibe. I think the acoustics and the, and the guitar sounds quite nice. And you can put the omnichord to it. And the little symbol thing. Nice. Uh, all right. But we, we also have some kind of funny thing in the in the verse. Um, he, he also brought this. Michael Blair also brought this kind of clay pot. <laughs> that is, I wanted some kind of percussion thing in the in the verse. So we, we brought this little clay pot and started to play on it. Nice. You can raise the volume. And turn it down. And Harbo, a drummer, he, he played some electronical stuff. This is actually, a, I think it's some kind of sample thing that he plays on and we put it through the marshals and <clears throat> through the marshals so it got distorted and mic'd it up. But he played in here. But it's also kind of nice. nice little feature as well and um, we we're supposed to mention three but I'm <laughs> going on here this yeah. is too it's too much fun we'll it's take a break now I think that okay. I really like with this song is uh, Rickard's uh, Rhodes playing I think you can hear it like it's, it's a lot of stuff going on it's kind of the doors <laughs> A lot of small psychedelic things. Very psychedelic. Very beautiful. That is so beautiful. Love that stuff. It's very, it's very beautiful. It's kind of adds the emotion, you know, the soul is moving on further to another dimension or something like that. Solo. That's a solo. And here are the monks. Here the monks are back. Also very nice. Michael Blair. And this little guy. And uh, all, all these. All these small things all together, I think that's what makes the 
the song emotional and uh, and um, to me it's, it's producing music and recording music and doing all this stuff is it's a way of putting sounds to uh, emotions and, f and feelings that I can't maybe put words on so uh, it's, it's almost like trying to be a little bit spiritual it's, it's a little bit in the same thing as you're visiting parts of your brain that maybe you're not in contact with that often so it, it, it makes you kind of feel uh, new stuff and sometimes realize new stuff or whatever. It's, it's a journey and it's, it's uh, interesting and to me it's important because I always had, for me it always was easier to deal with things and uh, express emotions through music so this is how we do this. Okay, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Yeah.